Thanks, dancers. Anthony Rose. Welcome to West Coast Swing Secrets. This is a completely different way of looking at learning West Coast Swing that you've probably never thought of, probably never heard of, but it's going to make everything so much easier. Okay, so this is a multiple part series. This is the place to start. This is your first video. So now, if you're brand new here at the channel, welcome. Well, we post all of the country dances from West Coast Swing to Two Step to Waltz to Polka, but you can notice this little button down here and it says subscribe. Now, if you click that button, then you become an X dancer and then you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens in the channel. So we're going to demonstrate the basic idea and then we're going to break it down. All right guys, so the first thing you're going to learn in this video series is that West Coast Swing is not as difficult as you probably think it is. Now, right. one of two things have happened. If you've tried West Coast Swing and it seems difficult, one of two things have happened. You just weren't taught in the right way or you looked at it in the right, the wrong way and that's what we're going to fix here. Okay. Really normal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the motion. Like The first thing, there's no basic step of West Coast Swing. There are categories of things. Let me say that again. There is no singular basic step of West Coast Swing that like this is the basic step. So everything is broken down into types of moves. In this video, we're gonna cover the first type, okay? And I'm gonna show you what they are, and then we're gonna talk about these concepts. So, first thing you gotta know, she starts over there and she goes over there. Now, if you watch all of these patterns we're gonna do, she's gonna do exactly the same thing. These are side passes, same thing over and over, they just look different. So you have, it's called a left side pass. She does the same thing again when we do an underarm pass. This we call a roll in pass. Here's a right side pass, she does the same thing again. Maybe I turn her here and <laughs> she's behind me, but maybe at the end of that, maybe I do a turn. But the basic idea is if you watch that, she literally starts on one side, she goes to the other, and her footwork is the same yeah, over and over. Identical. So that's the first secret. There's only a handful of things to do. Yeah. So in this series, we're gonna be teaching you what those things are and show you different ways to do different those flavors. things, okay? First, we're gonna cover the motion and what the basic concept. Like I said, there's no basic step. There's a basic idea, so let's talk about that. Guys, before we learn any of the categories or steps or anything, you gotta learn the motion, okay? So the first thing you gotta know is she starts over there. Forget about the steps I'm doing right now. But she starts over there and then she goes to there. And then she realizes that the grass was actually greener and the place where she was. So this is her motion. That's all she does for the most part is go from that spot to that spot. So here's the way I want you to think about this visually. She has this circle, right? So she's standing in this circle, right? Over here's another circle. And then she has a line that connects these two spots. That's where she's gonna be, or she's gonna be there, or she's traveling in between. So no matter what we do, whether this pattern or something super crazy advanced that we're gonna do later, whatever it is, that's her thing. I have my own circles. One circle, like if she's got these two circles, I've got one circle where I'm standing in the middle, and I've got two other choices. One on this side where I could go over here, and I have another one that is over here. These are my three circles. So you notice I start in the middle in between her two circles and as we do things, I first pick a side I'm gonna go to. So I'm in the center and I can go over to this side and then go back into the center and then maybe I'm in the center, I go over to this side, I get to make those choices. And then I get to communicate to her, not that she's going to the other circle, but how? There's different ways I can send her to these two things. Which makes it look so different. Now this pattern that we're doing now is called a side pass. This is like the core. If there were a basic step, which like, like I said, there's not. If there were a basic step, this would be the basic step, okay? Now we're some of you have danced West Coast Swing before. Uh, you probably taught that the sugar push is like the basic step or the first thing you learn. Uh, that's probably why you're having so much trouble, whether that is a bad idea. We do teach the sugar push and it's gonna be in this series. It is a category of things. Yep. Not the basic, okay? So, here's what we wanna think about when we do. We're gonna talk about the footwork and the counts. Um, it essentially takes, for most things, six beats of music for her to get to there and over there, and then six more beats to get back. Later on, there's gonna be some patterns or eight beats. But, for the first two beats of every pattern, whether it's this one or something crazy advanced, her thing that she does is come towards me. So I gotta say, hey, come towards me. I send her towards me, and I start getting out of the way. Okay, so if you watch that, the easiest way for her to walk forward or come towards me is to walk forward. She just starts with her right foot, she goes with her left foot, and she says, I'm gonna start walking over there. That's essentially what's happening, okay? That's section one, that's the two beats, the first two beats of this pattern. Then she has the variation or the stuff she does. So she's gonna do a triple step. Triple step, three steps, still in two beats. So she has a triple step. You can think of it as like a run, 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 but you're actually turning. 
So now at that point, we're done with that section two, and we can do section three, which is essentially three more steps just in that spot, and we call that anchor. Now, if you learn anything, you've got the motion. Second thing to know is that uh, you have these three sections of two beats of music, three separate things to do. So if you watch this again, she comes towards me and she goes, walk, walk. She keeps moving. That we're gonna say is the stuff she does. That's the triple step. And then we have an anchor, triple step, okay? What we want you guys to pay attention to now is her footwork. Now there is more than one philosophy here. There's more than one set of footwork. So I do my footwork like this, or I do it like that. I don't care, it doesn't matter. The concepts are still there of three sections of two beats of music. She comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. So she comes towards me, Something happens, in this case it's a left side pass, and then we have the anchor in place. Let me show you her footwork close up. All right, so follow this footwork, first two beats, is she comes towards me, you're just gonna walk, and you're gonna go right, left, followers. Then she has a traveling triple step. That's three steps of two beats of music. Triple step, you can count that three and four. So she's gonna step, she's gonna begin to rotate as she crosses in front, not behind, and she finishes the rotation for count four. That's section two, that's the stuff that happens. Then she's essentially just gonna go triple step in place. She doesn't go anywhere. If anything, she moves backwards a little bit, definitely not forward. So we'll show you her footwork again. She does for the first two counts. Walk, walk, I'm coming towards you. Then she passes by me for a go, go, go. And then she has a stay right here. Okay, leader's footwork. Now, again, there's more than one way to do this. And we're just gonna show you what we do. Again, we don't really care. There's no right or wrong as long as we're going to the right place, okay? So the easiest way to lead her forward is to take a small step backwards ourselves. That's one. Now she's getting ready to come through me, so I gotta get the heck out of her way, so I'm gonna get to that side circle on count two. She's gonna pass by me. I gotta stay on the side circle as she passes for three, and I'm just like hanging out there, but on count four, I step back into the center circle. And now we're facing each other, and we do that. I'm gonna hang out here for a second for an anchor. So I'll show you that again. Come towards me, woman. I'm out of your way. I'm letting you pass. I get to get back in front and anchor in place. Guys, we're gonna get back to your West Coast swing, but we are so excited yes. that we're in the middle of our two-step tour. We've got locations Finally. all across the country where we get to meet you guys in person for these lessons. But click that link right there to see where we're at. We'd love to see you guys at one of those boot camps. So guys, this pattern we're showing you guys is not the side pass. This is one of many side passes. It's called a left side pass because when she passes me, she passes me by my left shoulder. She's on my left side, which means I gotta get out of the way to the right. Now if we watch this again, three separate sections, come towards me, I get out of your way, right? She's getting ready to pass by my left side. She continues through for triple step and as I get back into the middle of the slot and then we do that anchor in place, okay? Understanding those three sections that's where it's at. Most people, when they learn, they learn, okay, here's a pattern, and it's six beats of music, and here's all the things, right. all right? That is a terrible way to think about this. Rather than that, learn in three separate sections because you have three different things to do. This is gonna become, gonna become more apparent of why this is so important so as we continue on with this series, but let me show you this. All right, what we've done is a left side pass, so I gotta get out to the right. Now again, I've got three circles. So the first thing I gotta know is that she's going from that circle to that one, and I choose which one of these cir three circles I'm gonna be in. So for a left side pass, it's like, I'm in the middle, I'm gonna get over to this side. So I'm over here on this side now. If I did that again, left side pass, now I'm circles there because I'm facing the opposite direction, but we go one, I am out of her way, three and four, five and six. Now what if I happen to, uh, instead of doing a left side pass, instead of stepping out this way, I stepped on the other side. Her step still stays the same. Nothing changes about what she does. I'm just stepping out on the other side. Yep. Same thing, but now I'm stepping out to the side circle on this side, the hand comes up and she goes underneath. Now the concepts are still the same. I lead her towards me, I get out of the way, I stay right here as she passes, but I still gotta step back into the center for three and staying there, oh hello, there you are again, and anchor in place. Her step doesn't change, right? I'm just stepping to another side, okay? So if we did a left side pass, I get out this way. But now since I'm facing here, if I stepped out that side again, I'm doing an underarm pass. Nothing changes for 
her. She's learned one thing and now she's learned two different ways to do it, okay? Done. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Now, if we break it down into three sections, sometimes when, when we do stuff, everything we do happens in that two beats of music. It doesn't happen over the course of the thing. Everything we do happens in that two beat. Let me give you an example. So if we did like an underarm pass, much I'll show you that again. I'm stepping out of the way. She goes under the arm for the middle section and anchor in place. What if I took that third section where she does her anchor in place and I decide to do something cool now. So we go, okay, one, there's section one. She goes underneath, I step in the middle, but now as she does her anchor, I go underneath. She still does the same thing. Basic. Right? It's still exactly the same thing. So if I show you that again, she comes towards me, there's the pass, and I go underneath. Concept's the same. Another pattern that we can show you guys is called a roll-in pass. She, if she did a left side pass, which is where she goes on my left side side here, then at this point I could do a roll-in pass. Her footwork's still the same, but watch what I do. I step out of the way, and as she comes past me, I do a little fancy turn three and four and anchor in place, yeah. right? Yeah. It's still the three sections, so okay? Spice it up. Now, if we show you some of this stuff to music, I'll call it out for you. What I want you to pay attention to here is that she's still doing the same footwork, but the sections still have the three intentions and we might be stepping out a different way or using a different hand different or flavors. making a different face at each other, whatever. Let me show you that to music. Okay, so three sessions, two beats of music. She comes towards me, something happens, anchor in place. So you have, she has come towards me, something happens. We'll do that again. So I'm stepping out of the way this way. But same footwork for her. If I step underneath, or on the other side, she goes under the arm. Come towards me, something happens, anchor in place. She comes towards me, Something happens, and you're I'll step up this way, I just got the opposite hand. I'm not paying attention to you. I step out of the way, she goes here. This is one pattern done multiple different ways. Now, here's the awesome thing, and this is where I'm gonna have you guys participate. You really wanna get this, you really wanna move along with the West Coast Swing, you really understand it. Yep. This is a multiple part series. So this is the side pass as a category and thousands of different ways to do that. Endless. The next one is the rolling pass, and there's a thousand different ways to do that one. So once you understand the basic idea of the rolling pass, then you can learn different ways to do that. There's only like a handful of things, okay? Yep. So cool. we'll demonstrate this stuff to music a couple times. The next video, stick around, is going to be the rolling pass. So you just finished the side passes. Now the next logical step is going to be the rolling passes. Those are down here. Or if you'd like to check out our interactive platform, X Dance, and get a full breakdown, click that link and try a free trial. Either way, we'll see you guys next time.